Hello. Currently, NetBeans does not support TypeScript, even in the latest release, NetBeans IDE 8.1. What that means is there is no TypeScript editor. However, I want to show you how you can use TypeScript and NetBeans anyway. You can see we have a greeter HTML file in the Hello World example on the TypeScript samples GitHub repo. And the greeter HTML simply points to a greeter.js. The greeter.js is created via the command line TypeScript command source map passing in greeter.ts. And here is greeter.ts. What you're going to do is create an application in NetBeans that uses this code to show you what you can do with TypeScript in NetBeans. And there we go. We have a NetBeans IDE development build started up for NetBeans IDE 8.1 containing only HTML5, JavaScript, and PHP support. Create a new project. And we want to have this in a folder on disk. So I have a folder called TypeScript in which I am putting all my TypeScript related examples. And we click Next. We don't want a site template. We don't want any of the packaging managers and the like build managers from JavaScript. We simply want to have an HTML file, as you can see. And here is where we're going to reference our currently non-existing greeter.js file. And that greeter.js file we're going to create from the command line using the terminal window, which you can find under the window menu and then IDE tools and terminal. So I've opened it. I am now selecting Alt Shift L, which puts onto the clipboard the full path to the folder I selected. When I paste that into the terminal window and I press enter, I get into the public HTML folder and I do an ls. I see there's only my index HTML there. Now what we also need to have there is an empty file called greeter. .ts, which will be transpiled to the JavaScript script equivalent. So I copy from here the TypeScript code, and of course NetBeans doesn't recognize the TS file. That's fine. We'll look at that shortly. Um, now we will go TSC source map and then greeter.ts. which gives us a source map. Here it is, but also importantly, the greeter.js. So here's the JavaScript created via the TSC command. Now, before we look at the TypeScript again, let's run this into the embedded browser. So we do that and I'm going to move that browser down there. So there's a hello world message. So we go back to our greeter TS and we go back into our terminal window. And let's say we change this to by world. And we run that command again. And you can see automatically that the embedded browser update itself because we updated that JavaScript file. So when we change something uh, to something else, it, and so I've done this and I press save, so control S, and then I do the up arrow key in the terminal window to get the command back, and I press enter. Now we can see pretty much immediately the update. Okay, so the syntax coloring sucks a bit. What we can do is we can right click and, well, not on the greeter.js, but on the greeter.ts and say open as. So open as text JavaScript. Okay, it's not perfect. You can see though that there is some JavaScript syntax coloring that we get. 
including code completion. But there are some error marks here. Now, this is something new in 8.1. We can say, for a particular scope, remove the error parsing. Because there are so many frameworks that NetBeans can't support all of them. And until we do support new frameworks, you can disable the error parsing, which is new, a new feature. OK, so we remove the error parsing. And now we do have some very basic syntax coloring. Not a lot, but definitely something. And again, we do have a code completion on the words. As you can see. So that is the level of support that there is right now for TypeScript. If we connect the embedded browser or the Chrome browser with NetBeans, we can click on items and we can see the related CSS styles where that is applicable. So right now we don't have a CSS style sheet, but we could add one. So let's add a new style sheet and call it styles. And let's um, create a style for H1, for color to red. And you can see the styles window automatically updates itself. And now we can go into the um, index HTML and drag that style sheet in there. And I do save. And automatically you can see that in the embedded browser or in the external Chrome browser, the update is done. Clearly, there's no direct support for the agree to TS file, but there is some support via the JavaScript editor and via the terminal window. You can actually run the TSC commands directly inside NetBeans. So that's it. TypeScript and NetBeans for the moment.